a safe route. Cause ya, think I break the right and they forget ya. Come on, my sick run and come back, they don't even miss ya. Hey guys, what's up? Tuna Duck here, and I have not been able to commentate lately. Uh, you know, I don't know what it is, but I've just been trying to do this one commentary. It's a pretty long commentary, and you know, I get into it and I keep on stuttering or something, or I keep I just mess up, lose my words, and so I just figured I'd try and you know do a life story or like a funny story for you guys today. But today is just gonna be a hockey memory. Uh, this is a hockey memory from I want to say a year ago. This was when I was on the U16 double A triple A team. And there was this kid named Ian on our team and there was Mike on the team of course, Florida hockey player. And you know we had a bunch of teammates and I think that we it was a Saturday or something, it was the weekend and we were I think we were in Atlanta actually and we were we had a game that night around 7 o'clock and I think it was about 3 or two or three and you know we are just chilling in the hotel room and this kid named Ian who nobody really likes and everybody called Bushy because uh, he had a massive bush if you guys know what I'm talking about but uh, everybody called him Bushy and he wasn't really accepted he was a goalie and he sucked ass um, people didn't like him he had he was only there for one season he had just moved down here and he was kind of just an outcast a weirdo and nobody really liked him and you know to do things even worse he we're just chilling in the hotel room you know chilling like a villain you know watching tv on our computers or something me and mike chilling on the couch ian says i gotta go to the bathroom he goes to the bathroom and you know he's in there for about good seven eight minutes comes back out you know sits down and then about 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 an hour later i go into the toilet i go to, i have to go to the bathroom too and there is this massive just massive, massive piece of poop in the toilet. And don't don't turn off the, the video here. It gets funnier. And this kid just literally the, the size of a freaking large mole rat. That's how big this thing is. That's how big this thing is. Sitting in the toilet. doesn't even go down. And, you know, my I tell my mom and she's like, well, that's kind of weird. And we were like, Ian, why didn't you just go downstairs and do it or something, you know, in the lobby? And he was like, well, um, I don't know. He, he was pretty a disrespectful kid, to be honest. And, you know, so we had to do something about this. We can have this massive piece of poop just sitting in our toilet. And I think our friend, uh, one of our teammates actually took a picture of it, but I don't want to show that. But what happened was I told my mom and everything, and I was like, yeah, Ian took a huge-ass dump in there. And, you know, it's, you know, bad. So my mom calls the front desk and she says, "Hey guys, uh, we have a little bit of a problem with a uh, clogged toilet up here. Could you could you send someone up?" So it ends up being this guy who's Mexican, you know. Of course, you know they're they're workers down here in Florida. It wasn't in Florida; it was Atlanta. Duh. But anyways, this guy comes up with like a four foot long pole. It's just a pole with like a little hook on the end. And what he was doing, he's Mexican, he's about, he's really short, he has this huge stash, and th this is funny, <laughs> he, he walks into the bathroom, looks in there, turns around, gives us, he just turns, turns his face around, gives us the funniest smirk in the world, funniest smirk in the world, sorry about that, this, this, just, mm, like, this, this smirk that just, what, that, what happened in here, you know, that's, that's what his look on his face was, and, he, he looks at us and he's like, and by this time, our whole hockey team was in this hotel room by that time because everyone on the team had heard about it. And, you know, he looks back at us and everyone just starts laughing. My mom's like, all right, I'll give you 20 bucks if you do it. And he was like, all right, you know, 20 bucks for him is like, that's like gold right there. And my mom gives it to him and he eventually, <laughs> he eventually breaks it up and it fl flushes down the toilet. But, you know, the, the smirk on his face was priceless it was priceless i have to say priceless and you know it was just one of the funniest moments i've had on a hockey trip you know and i'm sure you guys have had these moments too you know random kids you know pooping in the locker room or something i don't know whatever but i just figured i'd tell you guys this because i think it's pretty funny i know i know i know there are more stories like this that i have but i just don't remember them you know uh but I'll try to remember them for you guys. If you guys thought this was funny or enjoyed it at all, 
it'd be really awesome if you guys left a like down below that really helps me out but anyways hopefully tomorrow i can get uh not tomorrow actually i'll be posting this on friday so yeah tomorrow i will be posting a big video hopefully i'll be recording it on friday and because i have friday off but i'll be posting you know a day in life a lone sniper something like that but Hopefully you guys can stay tuned for that, and I will see you guys later. Deuces. I know they gonna say shit.